Okay guys, welcome back for some more Shovel Knight. Uh, I'm going to show you the Trowpel. Trowpel pond here first. There's the almighty Trowpel King and his Trowpel subjects. Let's go on over talk to him. Who has awakened me? Mortal? Dost thou need aid? Aid me. I sense a Trowpel chalice. I can fill it with magical ichor. That's pronounced ichor. Choose your ichor wisely. We are going with the one that refills all health and magic, because there's really no competition here. You have Invincible for 10 seconds. That one's okay. And you have Absorb Nearby Treasure for 60 seconds. I can see that one having um, uses but I still want the refills all health and magic. That's really good for the tougher boss fights. Subjects, a new initiate joins us. The ceremony shall commence. The guy's voice has gone all over the place, I know. But, uh... I just had to go quiet and just let that scene speak for itself. Uh, I think I think you all kind of get the picture. Fare thee well, shoveled knight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. And yeah, I realize I used about three different accents for the Trouple King. Uh, I'll have to figure out a permanent one because we're going to be back here. But for now, we're just kind of going all over the place. Okay, so. For your first boss, you have two options. You have the Spectre Knight in the Lich Yard. And you have King Knight in Pridemore Keep. This is generally the easier of the two stages, so I would recommend you go here first. And we are going to get digging. Another amazing stage song. And, uh, looks like this castle has a beetle infestation. They should take care of that. Oh! Nope. Go ahead and dig that shit up. Nope! Nope! And... we'll just go through here. And fish. Huh. We got him. That was a three hundred and fifty dollar fish, guys. That's a hundred and fifty dollars more than like that super purple gem that you get. So that's a valuable fish. I don't know, it was like gold, so maybe it's a fish made of gold? Who knows? I mean, we're, we're talking about a world in which there are weasels with helicopters on their back. Oh shit! Okay, oops. And I panicked and fucked it up, so that's cool. Alright, more beetles, more helicopter weasels. It sounds like a band name. Like some kind of grunge band, doesn't it? Does to me. And we got Wizard Man. Nope, 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 nope. can't touch this. Haha! -ha! Your fireballs are no match for my shovel! Oh, come on! 
I'm terrible. I'm the worst person. Alright. We're gonna keep going. And we'll go past this little checkpoint here. Knock his block off. Get a little chicken. Turkey. Whatever it is. I always kind of presumed it was turkey in the Middle Ages. But I would presume they had chickens too. Okay, this statue moves. Yeah, this guy's um, basically kind of a two-pronged attack sort of guy. You have to either bait him into attacking like that. Or um, bait him to shield and then hit him real hard. That, looks, that wall looks different, doesn't it? I can't get high enough. Maybe I can if I jump off of him. Hmm. I missed my opportunity, though. Okay, you. Aw, oh, crap. Oh, I screwed that up. Okay. Chandeliers. Falling. Of course, you know. This, this castle has some serious problems with its, uh, like, building codes, man. They need to work on that shit. Kill the beetle. Down the ladder. Okay. Oh, hey, look. It's a Shovel Knight-shaped carving of the wall. I wonder what that's for. Ooh. Ooh. And I think you stand in it and... Like that. Yep. Look, a blue chest. We've met a guy who's blue and has the word chest in his name. Isn't that interesting? There he is! In the village or out of the vi or out in the field. I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Wanna see? Yes. And we're gonna buy the flare wand. It's a wand that shoots fireballs. Watch your magic meter. That phrase has been in a game. Like, I think that was in the Zelda games. Particularly, um, Link to the Past, which are my favorites of the Zelda series. Um, Ocarina of Time has nothing on Link to the Past. I'm sorry. I know that might be blasphemous to some people, but... It's just, it's just the truth. You gotta deal with it, you know? Okay. Now comes the fun part of getting back across... Ah. Oh. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Alright. We're just going to book it under these. Do not even give one fuck. Ah. And, uh... I want to get most of my treasure back here. Damn it. There we go. And there we go, got my treasure back. I thought I was going to die again doing that at first. But, uh, hey, turned out better than I thought it would. Right, we're going to kill you. Oh, shit. Three hits, so if I'd hit him that last time, we would have been fine. Apparently we can't go this way. And one thing I have not mentioned in my previous videos here, uh, you might have noticed some pretty, like, on-the-ball dodges. That's not me. That's not because I'm a good video gamer. That's that's the controls of this game. They are among the tightest, if not the tightest, of any kind of game of this sort. Uh, you can jump on a dime in this game. Oh, I just screwed myself. Wow. Okay, that was smart. Oh, well. Another checkpoint. Hmm. I'm missing all the good stuff here. Although I don't think you can hit that from below, so... I don't think I necessarily missed it. Okay. Oh, come on! <sighs> and therein lies the risk of standing there. No. You go away. Sneaky, hiding gems behind the... Things. 
Oh shit. Oh god. Oh, thank you for knocking me onto the platform. Whew! And he gives me a turkey. Or a griffin, as it were.